Today we watched Change Church. I don't know if you know Darius Daniels, but he is bomb. And I was like, oh my gosh, this sermon is so, so good. I have to send it to all my friends because we're thriving this year, you know? Um, so if you have not checked out Change Church, make sure y'all sure do. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Um, but today, I don't know what we're going to do. Like, we were thinking about just going to, like, a local park or something. Something really, really chill. Because uh, we still have to come back and we have to meal prep and all this other stuff. So, yeah. But today's outfit, let me show you guys. It's definitely about 90 degrees in Brooklyn today, so... I cannot wait. I don't know. I want to do something where it's like we're outside, but then I also want to be inside because it's too hot. Like anything over, I would say like 81 for me is pushing it. So the fact that it's going to be 90, I'm just like, uh, like I'm thankful for the hot weather, but then I'm just like, bruh, it can just cool down just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with what we do um, today. I did like a light, light face. I just put on blush. I'm having a really bad breakout under my chin and I don't know what's going on. So I haven't been putting a lot, a lot, a lot of makeup on. I've been putting makeup on, but it's been pretty, pretty light because of the breakout under my chin. It's literally like right here. And I'm wondering, like one day I went to the gym last week. And I lowered my mask and I was just wearing it around my chin. So I'm wondering if it's something with like the fabric or I don't even know, girl. So I'm just hoping that it clears up because I'm like, lower God, it's literally just under my chin. So we're about to leave. We're going to be on our way to a place called Brooklyn Crab. It's in Brooklyn, but it's in Red Hook. Um, I was like debating between Williamsburg and Red Hook today only because it's really, really nice and they have like really nice scenery. So I'm gonna go to um, the Brooklyn Crab over there um, in Red, Red Hook. So So y'all, we made it to Brooklyn Crab. And I totally forgot. I was like, yo, we've been here before. It just felt familiar. I think we sat up here too. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know how yeah. big it is. Yeah. But yeah, I'm with my favorite person. About to eat one of my favorite cuisines, which is seafood. Is seafood a cool cuisine? What type of food? Oh, okay. So yeah, um, about to enjoy. Um, but it's so beautiful over here. The water, like after this, we're gonna just walk around. Like I wanted something like this, you know, chill because it's a nice day. So that's the only thing. Outside is very expensive, and I don't miss this part of being outside. Tell you, baby, what I'm thinking we could be back when it's so fat the way you touch in the shoulder. I want to tell you, ladies, please let me know if your husband does the same, does the same thing. So, the Lakers game is on, so this is you know, it's supposed to be a it's still out of time. Or a date I'm paying date. your attention, Don't play you know, look at this. What is this? What is this about? So guys, we were just talking about R&B, right? So if you're, I know a lot of you guys on my channel are Christian, but like Kev on stage, she's a comedian, Christian as well, but he did a video about 90s R&B and how popular the Nahu was, like, was during the time. That people's doing it. Nahu. What song is that from? It's an All the 90s song. Call it testicles. So, <laughs> listen, whatever. You guys know the part of the calamari where it's like the legs and everything. 
He said, I don't, I don't need it. You, know, you can have it. Because it's just what? The tentacles? Left. The tentacles or testicles? I'm like, and the guy standing right there. I'm like, babe. It's, see? Look how gorgeous this is, y'all. We, we just knew that we wanted to come by the water, but it is beautiful. Lady Liberty. Where? Oh, the Statue of Liberty. What I'm thinking we could be feeling good this morning so I actually stayed home um but I'm mad hyped today because if you guys saw my living room I had this white wall and it's so annoying I meant to just do something with it for the longest I was looking for gold floating shelves for a while now so I went on to CB2 so CB2 is where I got my um, dining room table from and they actually had gold floating shelf so I text Jose and I'm like can we get it like I'm really not asking you but I'm asking you type of thing I'm like yo we need to order it so we ordered two floating shelves so I'm so hyped because we I told you guys we're teachers so we literally have like three weeks left to be honest 10 days left so it's kind of like after that we can do what we want to do for our home for our space for enjoyment like whatever and it's gonna be litty all right y'all so this is the shelf that i ordered so yeah it's like 59 um for 48 inch like gold shelf so i'm gonna put like picture frames on it it's gonna look so cute so i ordered the smaller one as well and it came up to like 113 um, so Jose is like, is this what shelves usually cost? And I'm like, yeah. But yeah, y'all, what I'm about to do, I have two blog posts that I wrote on paper that I need to transfer um, to my blog website. So that's probably what I'm going to do now. I'm actually about to also grab a glass of water because I really need to get my water intake together. Um, I just feel like my skin has not been as like soft and just flourishing you know usually my skin i'm like oh it's great but i need to get on the water so y'all this is my outfit for the day it kind of looks like pajamas it's like a whole like suit and the pants are too long i actually gotta get them Hems, but it's really really cute don't judge me because i told you guys i'm not feeling well so it's not really styled as i would wear it or whatever but it cute it cute i actually got this set from nasty gal i bought it after seeing um monroe steel she's bomb if you don't know about her like her fashion is just like chef's kiss so definitely check her out so y'all, this is my outfit for the day. It kind of looks like pajamas. It's like a whole like suit and the pants are too long. I actually got to get them hemmed, but it's really, really cute. Don't judge me because I told you guys I'm not feeling well. So it's not really styled as I would wear it or whatever, but it cute, it cute. I actually got this set from Nasty Gal. I bought it after seeing um, Monroe Steel. She's bomb. If you don't know about her, like her fashion is just like chef's kiss. So definitely check her out. Hey y'all. So it's later in the day, but <laughs> y'all, y'all don't understand how excited I am because I wanted this for the longest so I was surprised with them today so I was like okay let me close out the blog with uh unboxing so these are Beats headphones if you know me I love music I love all different types of genres of music gospel soca R&B 
lo-fi like literally a lot like music means a lot to me it changes my mood like clearly y'all know i'm super passionate about um music so my lovely husband got me some beats headphones which i'm super excited about these are my first beats headphones and i'm hype about them because number one they're wireless so i can go to the gym and do my squats without my phone y'all the way i carry my phone when I don't have pockets in like my leggings or anything, it's so trash. So I put my headphones like in my sports bra, and then sometimes if I'm doing a squat, it comes out, it falls, people be looking at me like I'm crazy. So I'm happy to receive these. I'm about to open this. So these are them. Oh my gosh, let me put them. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. I love them. Let me see if they... Okay, so they come with... Let me take them off. So, these are how they look. They have, like, rose gold and they're white. And it comes with a charger because I told you guys that it is wireless, so you have to charge them. So, it you can add a wire to it because on the bottom here... Here it shows like a little opening and then you would charge it on the bottom here. Sure, y'all, I finally got them um, going. It was easier than what I thought. I literally had to hold down the power button for like five seconds and then connect them. But I was sitting here for like maybe six minutes trying to figure that out. So let's see how they sound. What should be my first song? Let's see. No. I think I have to hit, move my head, my hair back so I can get a little accurate. So, yeah, y'all. These were, I believe, 129 124 So, these are the most expensive headphones I've ever had in my entire life. I got your insurance too. Huh? Insurance? Oh, yay. Mm -hmm. Yay. So, to me, they're definitely worth, worth it, but I'm going to check in, you know, after the gym and all of that stuff. But I'm excited because, like I said, I've wanted Beats and I also wanted, like, wireless headphones for a good minute. So, yeah, y'all. Um, next week, like I said, I'm going to be vlogging again. I'm trying to be more consistent. Um, and I feel good about where I am mentally and, and like, we're going to get there. The consistency is going to get there. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you next week. Next week, I'm actually going to share some of my spring fashion buys. Um, so stay tuned. All right, y'all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.